ran out of your way. Very familiar scripture of John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Would you bow your heads with me, please? Father, thank you for your word in advance. Move anything that the enemy would come to destroy, that, to come against your word, that your word would, word would have no hindrance and would go completely according to your will. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Say here. I'm going to talk from the subject he's coming back again look at your neighbor and say neighbor Jesus is coming back again amen If this was the end of the story and nobody else that we know in our family would have to leave here and we'll have a celebration of life, we would have a double celebration of life. But the point is, Jesus is coming back again. You, you must prepare for departure because you have an appointment that no one can take in your stead. It's going to be particularly your appointment. John 3.16 is saying to the world, to how, just showing just how much the Lord loves the world. The world is saying the unbeliever. God loved the world so much until he gave his only begotten son to redeem man back to God because in the book of Genesis when Adam and Eve sinned, the enemy got the victory. Sin came into existence in man in mankind but God had a, already had a plan before that Genesis episode that his son would die and redeem man back to God bound back by man back to God had to be redeemed redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ because no one's blood was pure enough to buy back man from to God but the son of God Jesus the Savior, the Son of God. And so in, in 3 and 16, when it says, for God so loved the world, it doesn't matter where you are in life. It doesn't matter where you are in this world. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter what you are doing. But the Lord has already redeemed you from the hands of the enemy. But it's up to you and I to prepare ourselves for the departure when Jesus comes again. We're in this crowd today. We don't know who will be the next one to departure out of here. But the thing that you have to understand is you have got to be prepared. You have got to be ready to get up out of here. How am I going to do that? You've got to be born again. You must be born again. By the spirit and by the water. It's un Listen, we have to understand that we come to funeral at the funeral at the funeral. And we keep the same lifestyle. But the Spirit of the Lord is saying today, someone take a good look. Take a good look. Take a real good look. Young people, take a good look. You may have, may, may be the next one to departure out of here. But the question you ought to be able to answer is, will I be ready? Will I be ready to get up out of here? When the, when the death angel comes to carry me home, will I be ready to go home? Or uh, what home will I be ready to go? And it's time for the saints of God to pray until they can't pray any longer. And tell the devil to loose the people of God, to loose the world. Loose my children. Loose my boy. Loose my girl. Loose my grandchild. Loose my grandson, loose my niece, and loose my nephew. Yeah! And loose me. The devil is a liar. 
thief in the night to destroy and, 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 and to tear down to tear down to do what he can do as though we have not been redeemed as though we are lost in a world without hope but we have hope and his hope is in Jesus God so loved us he 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 loved us it doesn't matter what the enemy have planted into your heart and, and what kind of lifestyle that you are living today. The Lord can change that lifestyle right now. It don't take him long. It don't take him a long time to redeem you and bring you back to him. You need to be born again. You need to ask Christ to come into your life to forgive you of all of your sins. And he, if you believe that he will, he will do that, he will do that and more. He will justify you. He is the, we, we, you, you can become the righteousness of God. But it's time for us to understand that if he's going to come back, then what's he coming back for? A vessel. He's coming back for me. He's coming back for you. I don't know the day and I don't know the hour. But sure enough, he's coming back. And it's up to you to be ready. You may be joining a church and your name may be on the church road. It doesn't mean that you are ready for departure. You might be singing in the choir, but it does not mean you're ready for departure. You might be on the usher board, but it does not mean you're ready for departure. You may be on the deacon board, but it does not mean you're ready for departure. You gotta be born again. Say it! Say it! It's time to make, make things right between you and the maker. Because he's calling. He's calling us now. He said, come on and get ready. I took someone that you love. But I'm coming back. Make up your mind. Ready or not, he's coming. Ready or not, he's coming back. Ready or not, he's coming back. Believe it or not, he's coming back. Make up your mind. I ain't living like this no more. I can do better than this. I done lived in hell long enough. I don't want to live and die and go to hell. Say it! I'm ready! I'm ready to change to prepare for my departure. I'm ready to be born again. I'm ready to give up my lifestyle. I've been in sin too long. I've been addressing the issues of sin in my life too long. And I got me bound long enough. But I made up my mind today that I'm ready to give my life over unto the maker. For he loves me. Out of all I've done, out of all I've tried to do, out of all I've wanted to do and didn't do, he loved me in spite of. And if there's anyone that will love me, out of all the mess I've done, out of all the stuff that I've done, willing to save me then I need to make myself ready I need to get myself together because when he get ready to come back for me I shall be ready I will not be getting ready I'm going to be ready when he comes back sooner or later he's coming back don't wait too long because you never know when he coming back to get you when your number and when your name is called and the earth realm life time will be over and you'll go into eternity time is slipping away time is running out on everybody under the sound of my voice my time is running out your time is running out now what you gonna do with this time that you got left make good use of the time that you have because before you know it the angels of death may call your name and you make your departure but will you be ready when he comes.
will see you through. Hold on to that. To you today that's not ready for departure, <laughs> you need to get ready. You know, all you have to do is believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross and was raised the third day just for you, for your sins. And just ask him to come into your heart, forgive you of all of your sins. Lord, just save me because I'm in a mess. And I just need to be saved. Amen. The Bible says if you call on his name, call on him. He'll answer. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor. No, look at him. Don't be afraid to look at him. People don't want to look at each other like, I ain't going to look at you. Find somebody. Maybe they ain't your neighbor. Look across the street. Jesus is coming back.